Well, the push for Amazon is certainly building momentum, but we know one company that's already in our area. <laughs> and if you ask the kids that visit every day, it's a perfect fit, you might boom. say. Meteorologist Lauren Casey is live in Plymouth meeting at Legoland. Hi, hey. Lauren. Hey guys, just having fun here. I made some new friends, little junior architects. They've been building and building and they're hanging out. Also, we have a Halloween theme going on right now at Legoland that these kids are enjoying. We've got a little Dracula and he's holding a little pumpkin. Look at those guys, so cute. They have Brick or Treat, which is going on every weekend where they have Halloween themed activities. They have pumpkin builds. Check this masterpiece out. I didn't build it. A kid did. But um, you can see all these cauldrons. They have orange colored bricks and green colored Legos, and they're building all kinds of Halloween type things. They also have scavenger hunts ongoing during the weekend as well. And also, if you have your Halloween costume, dressing up is encouraged here at Legoland. So, brick or treat going on each and every weekend. But of course, Legoland is still open each day. Earlier in the five, we showed you the beautiful cityscape that we saw. What they need to add to it, though, there is one thing missing. We have the Rocky Steps in the Philly cityscape. We have City Hall. We have Liberty One and Two. But most importantly, the mobile weather watcher, I think, is missing from the cityscape. So, guys, I took it upon myself to make a beautiful addition to Mini Philadelphia here at Legoland. And here it is. The mobile weather watcher. As you can tell, I am an expert Lego builder, hence the missing wheels. Um, there's no windshield, but I got the satellite dish on there. Um, and I think I got the blue and white mobile weather watcher theme going on right now. So I think, though, most of the kids around here have much better uh, Lego building skills than do I because this actually looks like a pumpkin, whereas my mobile weather watcher is a little bit sad. But regardless, it's still fun, and I'm still having a great time as an adult kid here at Legoland. I think they're going to rebuff my idea for an addition of a mobile weather watcher unless I can come up with some better skills. But I'm going to ask anyway. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> you know that, it looked good, Lauren. That, yes. that looks very good. It's an A for effort, like I tell yes. my three-year-old. Just before you, before you leave, park it right out in front of the art museum and just don't tell anyone. Yeah. So that way it'll be there forever. Oh Nicely God. done. Lauren is giving me life at Legoland. I'm enjoying it so much. Thanks, Lauren. And Kate, I have to tell you.